You watch all these videos about the world, call it a city, and see all these people living their best lives. They're so damn happy over there. And even me watching this, I'm like, it was so wonderful there, why did I ever leave? But then a couple minutes after, I remember all the things I hated about living there. People romanticize living in Saha, like living in these coldest temperatures, and why it is a beautiful place to be in. It's not as cute as you believe. The city I was born in is Mirni, aka the city with a giant hole. There is a diamond mine in Siberia that is so freaking big, it has reportedly sucked down helicopters. And this is Mirni on the map. There is no water transportation, no railroad, and it is 2.6 thousand miles away from Moscow. Basically, the only way to get there from Moscow is by plane. It's a six hours flight that is over $400. And it is ridiculously expensive because the average salary in Russia per month is $600. So if you ever want to visit, you will have to save up just to get there, live alone, like living there and staying there. So my main problem with growing up in Mirny was feeling isolated. It feels a lot like living on a remote island. It is so far, so hard to get to, and so expensive to get to, that you almost never see people from outside of the city. Live alone, foreigners, people from other countries. And when the locals talk about going to, like, western part of Russia, they literally call it the mainland. That's how isolated we feel. Because there is basically no population movement, you see the same people for years over and over. Like your high school teacher, then her daughter, then her daughter's ex-husband, then her daughter's ex-husband's new chick. She's probably your cousin or something. And that's why I never wanted to live in a small city. Imagine hooking up with a guy, and then it turns out he's a cousin of your neighbor, and then every time he comes visit your neighbor, you like have to see him. Maybe there is something wrong with me, but I don't like tight-knit remote communities. There is another thing that I didn't like about growing up in Saha. It is very cold, right? And the only food we were relying on was meat and fish. Can you imagine having any vegetables or fruits over there? We have none. Growing something in Saha will be more expensive than buying it. And when you don't have fruits and vegetables, you do what? You buy from other countries or from other cities. But because there is no water transportation, there is no railroad, everything is hella expensive. Food, medication, clothes, I don't know, home renovation materials. And that's another reason to feel like you're on a very remote island. When I was a kid, I remember literally dreaming about going on a summer break and buying as many bananas as I wanted. I was also very excited about buying new clothes on vacation because in a small city like Mirny and so remote, you can only buy the stuff other people are buying. And it is extremely lame, especially when you're a high schooler, just wearing whatever everyone else is wearing. Yeah. You know how big cities inspire you to be successful, to accomplish something. You feel like everything is possible. And it's the opposite when you live in a small city. You see people doing the same things. You see people having the same goals, same intentions and same mindset. Like my family members, all they can think about is buying a new car, buying a new apartment, then buying a new car, then buying a new apartment. Life in remote places is very not exciting. You don't see people having big goals. That's why I would say everything feels stagnant over there. The number of things you can do for entertainment is also very limited. It's mostly drinking or doing barbecues in summer. It's a very teenage thing, hanging out in the building stairways because it's cold outside, drinking beer and smoking cigarettes because there's nothing else to do. Sports is almost always not affordable or just not popular. There is no access to the arts, no museums, no galleries. We didn't even have our movie theater. And there is no variety of careers. Like I said, people have kind of the same goals, kind of the same lifestyle. Right now I'm living in New York and I can every day meet people with cool jobs, cool careers. Lawyers, content creators, filmmakers. While over there it's mostly people who work in mines, teachers, doctors. Like the bare minimum it takes to have a normal society. But nothing exciting. Thinking that no one wants to live this place. 
is wrong. Me and my friends absolutely did want to live. Younger people live Saha all the time, especially Mirni. Out of like 30 people in my class at school, I don't think even a third of us have stayed there. There's not much to do when you are young. For real, you better go somewhere else, like find your success, build a career, meet new people somewhere else. And I see older people saying that they love it there and they don't want to leave, which is pretty natural because older people don't like moving. Plus, many of them haven't seen anything else outside of this bubble. Locals take a lot of pride in living under these conditions, like being super tough and resistant to the cold. I better live somewhere else and skip this pride thing, honestly. But despite everything, I am very grateful to be born there, to grow up there, because it's a beautiful place. It was also super safe and pretty fun. So if you ever have a chance to visit, please do so. And check out my other videos about Siberia and about Russia. See you next time.